Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today uh, I will give an introduction to printed circuit boards. Uh, in this lecture, uh, I will just uh, describe the uh, describe some fundamentals of uh, PCBs. First of all, uh, what is a PCB? Uh, printed circuit board is usually a hard board uh, made of fiber glass uh, primarily. However, it may be flexible. Uh, normally, uh, we use uh, hard boards only. A PCB has uh, copper tracks uh, or traces uh, on one, uh, maybe on one side or both sides in its simplest form. And this is a simple uh, PCB where uh, this is the uh, base material on which there is uh, there is a, a copper pasted. This is uh, the, the base material is also called as uh, substrate, and uh, we have some copper tracks. Uh, this is uh, a simple form of, uh, of PCB in which uh, there is no uh, protective coating over the tracks. Uh, normally when you see uh, professional, professionally made PCBs there is a green color coating uh, and the, the green color coating is actually called as the solder mask. So, so, so the green color is of the solder mask. So it depends on the manufacturer uh, or the uh, uh, designer that uh, whether uh, the solder mask is required or not. When we purchase uh, a copper cladded board uh, from the market, uh, there is only uh, copper uh, copper uh, layer either on one side or both sides. So in this uh, figure, you see that uh, this is the uh, base material or the uh, or the substrate, and uh, this is the copper layer. And this is another copper layer on the other side, and the green color is uh, is the solder mask. And the thickness of the base material varies in in a wide range, and we will discuss uh, it uh, in in a next slide, in a uh, coming slide. Uh, now, types of PCB. Uh, basically, there are two types of PCBs: a single layer PCB, which consists of a single layer of the substrate. Uh, in in single layer PCB, we may have single sided PCB, th that is uh, copper is only on one side of the PCB and maybe double sided, that is copper on both sides of the PCB. The second type is the multi layer PCB, which, uh, which consists of uh, multiple layers of substrate. Uh, a typical uh, multi, multi layer PCB is shown in this figure. This is a four layer uh, PCB, the cross section of a four layer PCB in which uh, uh, this is the uh, top layer, uh, the, these are the tracks uh, on the top layer and this is the uh, base material actually there are uh, multiple layers of the base material or the substrate. This is the uh, first layer of the substrate uh, on top of which there, are, there is the uh, top layer of the top layer of copper. The green color is of the solder mask, of course. Actually, the this is the uh, color of copper. So, yeah, this is the uh, inner layer of uh, first inner layer of the uh, of copper, and then uh, again uh, a layer of uh, substrate, and then uh, again uh, a layer of uh, copper, the second inner layer, and then again uh, substrate, and the this is the uh, bottom layer or bottom copper layer and this is the uh, wire which is uh, used to connect copper of different layers for example this wire is connecting uh, the top layer the tracks of copper layer the tracks of uh, bottom layer with the tracks of uh, uh, first inner layer and the tracks of the bottom layer and similarly this wire is connecting the tracks of top layer with the tracks of uh, second inner layer and uh, the uh, bottom layer. Now uh, units of measurement in PCBs uh, normally distance is measured in uh, mils. Uh, the distance uh, can also be measured in uh, other units for example uh, millimeter or, or centimeter but uh, uh, in the standard uh, unit of measurement is, uh, is mils and uh, 1000 mils uh, uh, distance is equivalent to one inch, and uh, uh, you can know you may note that the normal width of uh, tracks or copper traces on a PCB range from uh, 10 to 30 mils. It may uh, be uh, 
less than less than 10 mils or it may be uh, may also be uh, greater than 30 mils but normally it ranges from 10 10 to 30 mils we will discuss the uh, width of the tracks and the effect of uh, increasing or decreasing the width of the tracks uh, in my later slide now uh, in the market copper cladded boards uh, are available with different uh, thickness uh, the, uh, the here uh, by by the word thickness, I mean the uh, thickness of the copper layer. Uh, there are uh, some boards available uh, on which uh, the uh, copper layer uh, is uh, uh, 18, 17.5 uh, micrometer thick. Uh, standard uh, the, the the standard way of uh, uh, mentioning. The uh, thickness of copper is actually the den uh, the surface density of copper. So actually, uh, the uh, manufacturers uh, mention the surface density of the copper uh, pasted on the uh, paste pasted on the board. For example, uh, the so cop copper surface density may be uh, half ounce per feet square. Half ounce per feet square means that. Uh, the copper pasted on uh, on one fifth uh, square area of co of the board is uh, half ounce. Uh, if uh, this is the uh, surface density uh, of the uh, copper, then uh, the uh, th thickness of the copper uh, on the board will be uh, roughly 17.5 uh, micrometers. And if uh, it is uh, one ohms per feet square, then uh, the thickness is 35 micrometer. And for two ohms per feet square copper, uh, the thickness is around uh, roughly 70 micrometers. Boards available in Pakistan usually have thickness 17.5 uh, uh, micrometer, and uh, we can uh, roughly call it 18 microns, 18 microns or 18 micrometer. Uh, now. Uh, Footprints, uh, an arrangement of pads of a component on uh, on a PCB is called a footprint. Uh, just as uh, um, animals have footprints, these they, this is, these are the uh, footprints of typical animals, sheep, cow, horse, and so on. And similarly, uh, these are the footprints uh, of uh, two uh, types of components. This is uh, this is the, this is the footprint of Sorry, this is the footprint of uh, an uh, of 18 pin IC. Uh, there are nine pins uh, on this row and nine pins uh, in this row. So actually, it is uh, the footprint of uh, of 18 pin IC. And this is the footprint of uh, a connector. The connector is a DB9 connector. Uh, these are the uh, 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 nine pins of the connector, and uh, this. Uh, uh, these big circles actually represent the mounting holes. These are not the uh, connecting holes or uh, copper pads. Actually, these represents the connecting, uh, the mounting holes of the uh, of the DB9 connector. Uh, now, some more footprints. Uh, for example, uh, this is the footprint of a resistor. Uh, this is also the uh, footprint of the same uh, component, the resistor, but uh, in this footprint, uh, the pads of the uh, uh, pads of the resistor are uh, shown with with the shape of device. And in this figure, I have not shown the shape of the device. So the shape of the device is represented by this uh, rectangular box. So actually, uh, this uh, type of footprint is actually. Uh, the footprint of uh, of axial lead components. There are uh, two types of components: uh, axial lead components and radial lead components. Uh, axial lead components are the ones having the longer side along the uh, along the PCB surface. Just as in this figure shown, that the resistor is mounted in such a way that the length of the resistor is along the uh, PCB. So it is uh, an axial lead component. Now, this uh, in this slide, uh, you can see the uh, you can see some more uh, axial components. Uh, most of these axial components are resistors, but uh, there are some components other than resistors. For example, uh, this is uh, a diode. Diode uh, is also uh, an axial lead component. 
and uh, this is a fuse and this is also a fuse these are also axial lead components because when they are mounted on PCB uh, the longer side their longer side is uh, along the surface of the PCB this is also a diode so uh, there are many components uh, which are available in uh, axial lead package uh, there are some resistors which are uh, uh, available in other packages for example radial packages I will show uh, I will describe uh, what is a radial lead uh, component or radial lead package radial lead components uh, have their longer sides perpendicular to uh, PCB surface in axial components uh, uh, the longer side is parallel to PCB surface and in radial components the uh, longer their longer sides are uh, parallel to uh, PC, uh, sorry perpendicular to PCB, PCB surface uh, for example in this figure there are uh, four capacitors shown which are mounted on the PCB in such a way that they are uh, perpendicular uh, they are, that they are standing on the uh, PCB perpendicular so uh, this figure shows uh, many of uh, radial lead components most of them are uh, of course uh, capacitors but there are some other components uh, for example uh, this is an uh, LED this is also LED this is LED again LED these all are LEDs and of course they are uh, radial lead components because when they are mounted on PCB they are standing on the PCB they are perpendicular to the surface of the PCB and these are also radial lead components but they are resistors so uh, so in this figure uh, you can see some uh, radial lead uh, resistors the point to be noted here is that uh, uh, resistors are not only available in axial lead uh, packages but also in radial lead packages uh, although uh, we uh, uh, normally the resistors that we use in our circuits are uh, axial components but uh, resistors some resistors are also available in in radial com in radial lead packages in this slide uh, i will discuss a nomenclature of uh, some of the footprints axial uh, 0.3 means uh, the axial component with two pairs having a distance 0.3 inch or 300 mils uh, in axial uh, components uh, we may have axial 0.3 axial 0.4 axial 0.2 or some other values for example example axial 0.5 or 0.6 but the uh, point to be noted here is that uh, the family of axial components uh, uh, in the family of axial components the uh, typical distances typ typical distance between the between the two pads may be 0.1 inch or 0.2 uh, inch 0.3 inch and 0.4 inch and so on or, or in uh, in integral multiple of, multiple of uh, 100 mils and uh, similarly here uh, radial 0.2 means a radial component with again with uh, two pads but having distance of 0.2 inch in radial uh, uh, family of uh, components uh, we may also have radial 0.2 radial 0.3 radial 0.4 and so on now comes a single in line uh, package sip package uh, the components having uh, three or more pins uh, that are arranged in a, in a single line these are called uh, single in line package or SIP for example SIP resistors and relays uh, shown in this uh, in these figures these are the uh, relays uh, the important thing is that uh, all the pins of the relays are uh, arranged in a single line if there are uh, dual lines for example in ICs we call them uh, dual inline package or dip just as uh, I've shown you uh, this uh, package 18 pin a, this is 18 pin IC in this uh, package the pins of the IC are uh, arranged in two lines so we call it a dip package dual inline package I will describe it uh, later Similarly, uh, this is uh, a SIP resistor. Uh, again, uh, the all the pins 
all the legs of the component are, are arranged in a single line therefore yeah, we call it uh, a SIP component. Now uh, nomenclature of uh, uh, footprints of some ICs. Uh, first of all uh, PDIP plastic dual inline package I've mentioned already, uh, I've already mentioned what is a dual inline package. Plastic uh, means actually the plastic body. The abbreviation is PDIP. We will see uh, this uh, package very frequently when uh, we will, dis uh, we will uh, use uh, Ultium Designer uh, for uh, designing PCBs. In the next slide, uh, we will uh, work on uh, Ultium Designer to design some PCBs. Uh, in uh, uh, DIP packages, pads are arranged in uh, two rows or dual rows 18 pin IC is uh, the, the package of 18 pin IC the footprint of 18 pin IC is written as P dip 18 for 14 pin IC the footprint is written as uh, P dip 40 and so on and uh, I've mentioned uh, in a previous lecture that uh, uh, the maximum pin count of a through hole IC is 40 so actually in P dip packages in uh, dual inline packages the maximum pin count is 40 so uh, we cannot have p dip 50 or p dip 60 at maximum we can have uh, p dip 40 at minimum we can have uh, p dip uh, 4 uh, for 4 pin ic and at, min at, uh, at maximum p dip 40 <coughs> now uh, these are uh, two uh, smd uh, packages uh, SOIC means a small outline uh, IC and QFP means a quad flat package. Uh, the shapes of these packages uh, will be shown in the next slide. These are some other IC packages and footprints. For example, this is the dip package, of course, the only through hole package. And the uh, rest of the packages other than uh, dip packages they are all uh, surface mount SOP, SOP, SOT 23 and this is uh, QFN, this is QFP and this is BGA uh, ball grid array and th these are the uh, shapes of uh, different uh, packages and these are the uh, these are uh, their footprints this is BGA and this is uh, SOP and uh, this is I think uh, uh, SOT 23 now a very important parameter that uh, uh, need to be selected very carefully uh, while designing a, uh, a PCB or while routing the PCB this is the uh, copper, tra copper uh, trace width or the width of the copper tracks uh, on the PCB uh, this uh, figure shows uh, a typical uh, dimension uh, of uh, typical dimensions of uh, of a track. Uh, this is the the, the uh, variable W represents the width width of the track. The uh, T represents the thickness of the track, and L re represents represents the length of the track. And uh, we have mentioned earlier that uh, the typical thickness of the uh, copper. Uh, in the uh, copper boards available in Pakistan it is typically 18 microns so T is equal to 18 microns uh, and uh, length of the track uh, it may vary in a, in a wide range uh, for example it may range from 10 centimeter to 100 centimeter depending mm. on the uh, routing of PCB and uh, uh, if uh, T is 18 microns and uh, then resistance of the uh, copper trace can be calculated using this formula where uh, rho is the resistivity of copper which is uh, uh, this much and alpha is the uh, uh, temperature coefficient of copper which is given here 3.9 10 power minus 3 uh, the unit is I think centigrade inverse now calculation of the uh, copper track on PCB uh, is very important because uh, uh, let's say consider a situation that you are drawing a copper uh, cop uh, a power supply uh, track or trace 
uh, on uh, on a PCB. The track is emerging from a voltage regulator, uh, 705, and consider that the trace length is uh, 50 centimeter and the thickness is uh, thickness of copper is of course 18 microns, and the width of the track, let's say it is 20 mils, and the environment temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. Then the resistance calculated using the uh, formula that I shown earlier, the, the resistance comes out to be uh, around 1 ohm, slightly less than 1 ohm. Now let the current flowing in this uh, uh, copper trace is uh, around uh, 0.5 ampere. Then the voltage drop will be of course uh, the current multiplied, the uh, resistance multiplied by the current will be equal to 0.47 volt. Now what does it mean? It means that uh, the output voltage, if the output voltage of the voltage regulator 7805 is 5 volt, then voltage appearing at, uh, uh, at some relay, which is uh, at a distance of uh, uh, around uh, uh, 50 centimeter, if the track length is 50 centimeter, it means that uh, the track, uh, the track connecting the copper track connecting 7805 with the relay is uh, 50 centimeter long. Then, uh, due to this length, the uh, voltage appearing at the uh, relay will be roughly 4.53 volt. So, the 4.47 volt has been dropped across this uh, this 5 centimeter long track. Now, what's the problem? The problem is that uh, the 5 volt relay, uh, which is operated at a nominal uh, 5 volt, but uh, it uh, whether it will operate uh, uh, at 4.53 volt, uh, it depends on the uh, specification. Uh, we will we, we'll need to see the data sheet of that relay that we are that we're using uh, in that circuit. But uh, normally a 5 volt relay uh, may not operate at uh, such a low voltage of 4.53 volt. So uh, whether uh, the relay will operate or not, uh, it depends on the uh, conditions, it depends on the uh, relay that, uh, uh, that we are using. So now uh, with this problem in mind, uh, what is the uh, solution? The solution is uh, of course uh, uh, maybe to increase the width. But uh, uh, I, by increasing the width, the problem can be solved. But uh, we need to increase the uh, uh, the width of the uh, uh, track as much as required. So this needs a calculation. This needs a calculation. We uh, we must uh, uh, calculate how much uh, increase in the uh, width of the PCB is required. On the other hand, a blind increase may kill the problem. Uh, for example, uh, the increase in width is required uh, by only 10 mils and we increase the uh, width of the track by 30 mils. So uh, a blind increase may uh, kill the problem, but wider uh, tracks or traces make the routing difficult uh, and or uh, require bigger board. So uh, it may cause uh, an increase in price. Of course, uh, when we are using uh, wider uh, PCB tracks, wider copper tracks on the PCB, of course they will require uh, more space and more space means uh, bigger uh, board and bigger boards mean bigger board means uh, uh, more price, more cost. So in fact uh, uh, we need to uh, calculate the uh, required width of the uh, tracks. The other parameter uh, which is a very important uh, parameter and we need to decide what, uh, the, what, the value, what should be the value of this parameter is the uh, trace uh, clearance which is uh, the minimum required distance between two copper uh, traces or tracks and typically this distance is proportional to the widths of the tracks. It means that uh, if the tracks are uh, wider. Uh, the uh, minimum distance required between the tracks uh, will be uh, will be high. Uh, more width uh, and more clearance means uh, more space uh, required to make all the uh, connections on the PCB, and of course uh, that uh, that may cause an increase in price. 
so the the point to be noted here is that uh, uh, we need to uh, calculate the required uh, width of the track and the required clearance or required distance between the uh, tracks okay thank you allah office